What's up, everybody? And today we're checking out a Swedish military video. I cannot pronounce the name of this video. Um, because I did a bunch of um, Swedish and Finland videos, I had like a back catalog of people recommending me videos from the Swedish military. And so we're going to watch this. We're going to have some fun. We're going to learn some stuff and uh, figure out what's going on. I think anything to do with the Swedish and uh, Finland military right now is incredibly relevant considering they're both now in NATO and um, seeing what they're capable of, seeing their expertise is very beneficial, especially if you're living in Europe like I am right now. If you want to watch the original video, I will leave it in the description down below if you want to check it out without me in the corner waffling on. because People don't like that, apparently. <laughs> You've seen it. People have memed it. We've been there. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. We're so close to half a million. Look at this mead. See this? Two shelves of glorious mead. And I'm not going to be drinking all of it, but I'll certainly drink some of it. There's some good ones over there. We've got some traditional mead. We've got some five-year-old mead. We've got all sorts of stuff. And we'll drink some on stream. And we'll play some games, maybe. We'll watch some videos together. We'll have some fun. And it'll be an absolute party. I think my brother wants to come over and hang out on stream with me. It'll be really good. If you want to uh, subscribe, please do. And we will get to that goal together. For now, let's shut up. Let's watch this. I'm not going to read the subtitles out just because... You can read yourself. Let's make the, the sub, let's make sure the subtitles. Uh, can we make sure the subtitles are small? Let's turn it to a hundred percent background. Uh, can we make it a bit smaller? I guess not. Oh, font size. Let's do. Let's do seventy five percent. Let's do seventy five percent. Um, I want you guys to be able to see it, but I don't want it to be taking up the whole video. Uh, let's turn up the quality, 1080p, and let's watch this. The north of Sweden. I'm going to turn it down a little bit because it's... it's... Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely stunning, isn't it? Kind of reminds me. Do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of um, Alaska in a way. Um, I guess any kind of foresty, snowy thing kind of looks like Alaska. It's absolutely beautiful. Sweden is just stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Med begränsad infrastruktur och till stora delar ett väglöst land. Mm. En kall och ofta ogästvänlig plats där geografin och klimatet dikterar villkoren. I'm going to move my head up a tiny bit so if any bit of subtitle goes underneath it, you can see it, okay? Här finns efterfrågade naturtillgångar och andra stora strategiska värden som är av betydelse för Sverige, Europa och delar av världen. Oh my god, look at that. Norrbottens brigaden försvarar. Nebod, how did he say that then? Brigaden försvarar Sverige. Good luck me pronouncing that. Jesus Christ on a bike, I ain't pronouncing that. Yeah. Och det är här i det subarktiska skogsbältet som vi är som allra bäst. Freezing the tits off them lads, I guarantee it. Freezing the tits off. That looks cool. Looks like the guy from Mortal Kombat then, doesn't it? Is that his ski poles? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Oh, let's look at the gear. Turn sideways. Let me see your gun. Ah, oh, that might be one of the best pictures we'll get of it. So let's... Are we going to get other pictures of weapons? We're going to get other pictures of weapons. I just want to... I like looking at gear. Do you know what? I like the fact that they've got the white trousers and then the camo top. Because look at this line here. This ridge line. It's almost as if it's like identical to it, isn't it? Apart from the boots. Like the white of the snow and the grass and the green up top. It's almost like perfect that for camouflage. What a shot. Säkerhetsläget har kraftigt försämrats i vårt närområde. Och försvarsmakten har av Sveriges regering fått mm. i uppgift att stärka försvaret i norra Sverige. Oh. Försvarsmakten är därför under tillväxt. 
armén ska växa mer än övriga försvarsgrenar. It doesn't surprise me that the forces is is growing, especially with the amount of drama that we're getting from Russia recently, and now that they're in NATO and stuff. I it, I just feel like there's more of a motivation for the people who are on the fence about joining the military. They're definitely a bit more like, oh, this might be a better idea now, better opportunities, uh, better experiences, um, and so I feel like there's a bit more for it, you know. Vi armenska ett regiment växa mer än övriga förband. Norrbottens regiment är med Norrbottens brigaden. Okej. Okay. Nordkalotten försvaras av NATO. Och i det långtgående svensk-finska försvarssamarbetet bygger vi ett operativt djup i norr. Mm, okej. Okay. Interesting. För att kunna verka här måste man också utbildas här. Yeah, I mean, the Royal Marines train in Norway, um, training in the snow, training in the cold. It's a different type of warfare, just as is jungle warfare, desert warfare, all of it. Maritime warfare. It's all a different style of training that you, as a Royal Marine, as someone who is, we, we get told that we've got to adapt and overcome. You've got to learn these different skills for these different environments because it's completely different styles of fighting. Det är därför Norrbottens brigaden ska utbildas på plats i Boden. Woo! So cool. Kraftsamlingen i norr innebär att produktionen av flera krigsförband flyttas från södra till norra Sverige. I 19 ska utbilda, mobilisera och förrådställa hela brigaden i norr. Wow, look at that. Där vi försvarar ska vi också finnas 24 timmar om dygnet, 365 yep. dagar. I mean, I feel like that's an obvious that they're going to be there 24-7. Uh, they're going to need to be there 24-7. Again, when did this video come out? December last year. So, yeah, they're definitely going to be up there 24-7 at the moment, aren't they? Let's be honest. Oh my god, look at the northern lights. Nice bit of camouflage there on the gun. Hon får därmed en ledande roll i armén. Med uppgiften att utbilda nästan en femtedel av arméns alla krigsförband. Mm. Norrbottens brigaden leds av brigadchefen med stöd av staben. Brigad That's a big map, isn't it? That's a big map. Probably knows every set, every little inch of it, don't they? The training there 24-7. They'll know it like the back of their hand, let's be honest. Chefen har ett antal understädda bataljoner som ska lösa de stridsuppgifter brigaden ställs i. Let's have a look at some of the gear here. Yeah. Obviously these are officers here um, talking about what's going on on the ground. Maybe they're not, to be honest, but definitely, you know, up there with like sergeant majors and stuff. Um, handguns. He hasn't really seen too much of the equipment here. Body armor. or oh, neck neck brace part of the body armor is a very interesting choice to use that i remember being told that a lot of lads you get issued all this extra body armor but a lot of lads just shit can some of it and they just keep the chest plates maybe sometimes the ones just you know on the side but most of it gets shit canned which makes me think this is an officer because he's wearing all the gear you know what to say about all the gear no i'm joking i'm joking you gotta give stick to officers aren't you Infor. För att brigadchefen ska kunna leda förfogar brigadstaben över ett sambandskompani och ett ledningskompani. Mm. Det är de som på kort tid upprättar ledningsplatser och yttäckande samband över långa och utmanande avstånd. Ja. Signalistkåren har djupa rötter i boden och växer nu snabbt igen. Signals is incredibly important. Chefs ögon mot fienden består av brigadspaning. That's kompaniet. super cool. The fact that they've got all that gear and it can be used up there is very, very important. People don't realize how important it is to have gear that can actually be used in that style of terrain. Very important because not all gear will work in it. Ett lättrörligt spaningsförband som verkar dolt på djupet av fiendens linje. En stor del av brigadens lägesbild bygger på underrättelser inhämtade yeah. av brigadspaningskompaniet. That's inevitable when it comes to a, a vast amount of wild space, a giant amount of wild space where, you know, anything could be happening at any point because it's so vast and so big and having so much coverage of foliage and all that lot. 
recce's and in intelligence reconnaissance is obviously incredibly important because they've got to have eyes on the ground eyes in the in the sky a lot to make sure you're covering a lot of distance and uh, when it comes to these bland kind of colors of whites and greens and browns but mostly like washed out with white colors um you're gonna want infrared you're gonna need these different styles of cameras so you can keep an eye on what's moving on the ground that's alive um, and it's easier to see things that are alive when everything's cold as shit. <laughs> Super cool. If they're training up there 24 7, I bet they're absolutely fire up there. But they're amazing. Uh, let's go back there just a tiny bit. So people have been telling me this that it's not actually an AK variant that they've got. It's like some sort of Swedish made weapon that has a lot of characteristics of like an, an, an AK, but it's completely different. Not completely different, but it is different. Um, I'd love to watch a video on it. If anyone's got any recommendations. Brigados that one doesn't really look like it. The the Snow everywhere. Absolute everywhere. Bataljonen ser till att allt från drivmedel och ammunition till förnödenheter når fronten. Yeah, gotta make them sausages! <laughs> They were just playing solitaire on that laptop, let I guarantee you. <laughs> Fältarbetstraditionen i Boden går långt tillbaka. Oh, so cool. I could watch this shit all day. I'm telling you that right now. This type of footage where it's showing like actual people doing the stuff on the ground. Why is that thing called sad but true? Why is it called sad but true? <laughs> I, I just love watching people do the job correctly and do it really well in terrain like this. It's fascinating. Fältarbeten och fördröjningsstrid i subarktisk klimat ställer särskilda krav och behöver därför utbildas yeah. även i norra Sverige. Yep. Oh, what is that? Is that an explosive? What is that? Holy shit, it wasn't explosive. <laughs> that was a big one, that, wasn't it? We got in there. Couple of skeletons of some Vikings. <laughs> what are them things called, them vehicles again? The Royal Marines use them when they're in Norway, and I forgot what they're called. Someone will let me know. I forgot what them vehicles are called, what we call them in the Royal Marines anyway. Great bits of kit. Även luftvärnsförmågan har gamla anor i norra Sverige och är nu tillbaka i Norrbotten. Wow. Operativa transporter av de mekaniserade förbanden är en förutsättning för att kunna agera snabbt och över stora ytor. Yeah, logistics has to be on point when you're in a place like that because you're going to need supplies constantly to keep things running. It's not a place where you can lack in the logistics department, I'll tell you that right now. If anything, that'll be one of the most important factors of being sustainable out in that environment. For Tung Transport Company, every second is dear. I have mad respect for him. Med ögonen mot fienden kan spaningsförbanden leda in indirekt eld. Yep. Med hög precision och snabba grupperingstider är det artilleribataljonen. Oh. Fjärdens oh. artilleriregemente A8 som fjärrbekämpar fienden på djupet. I have mad respect for them doing this training out in that wilderness constantly, freezing your tits off, making sure that you've got good self hygiene and maintenance so you're not getting frostbite. Mad respect.
Norrbottensbrigadens slagkraftigaste manöverförband är de två pansarbataljonerna och den mekaniserade bataljonen. Must be so cool to drive one of them tanks through just now. De är brigadens spjutspets vid en väpnad konflikt. Viktor Johan, ta Gustav Adam 13, slut, kom. De jobbar efter devisen. The f they fight after their motto, tempo, pressure and hardness. I like it. I like that motto a lot. Tempo, pressure and hardness. I like that one. Tempo, tryck, <laughs> hårdhet. Och de är alltid främst. And they are always in the lead. That's sick. Oh, what a great shot that is. Go back to that right, right there. Bit more, bit more, bit more. What a shot. Ooh. Look at that. That's a good... Oh, my head's in the way. There's another tank back there as well. Look at that for a shot. Fire. Oh, I put my head in the wrong place. Sorry. Go up a bit. There you go. Look at the weapon there. Interesting. I need to learn more. We should do more videos on different countries' uh, primary weapons, shouldn't we? Let me know if you think you'd want to see that. Bit of GoPro action. Oh, some sick footage, this. Brilliant. Whoa! Smoke, smoke. Oh my god, what some great footage this is. Oh my days. It's like a hype video, isn't it? Like I feel proper hyped. The music playing and stuff. Vi vintersoldater av värnpliktiga från hela Sverige. Woo! Det här är vår Oh, the patriotism. På strid i subarktisk miljö. Vi är låset i norr. Och vi ger aldrig upp. Let's go. Welcome to NATO. Norrbottens brigaden. A new character of NATO has been unlocked. <laughs> yeah, that's sick. What a great video. If you want to watch it, I can't pronounce it. Falsvansmarkten. Is that correct? I'll leave a link in the description if you want to watch it. That was a sick video. I absolutely loved that. Whoever it was who recommended me that, well done. Send me more of that stuff. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go check it out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We're close to half a mil. We're going to drink some mead and it's going to be an absolute party. So please be there. Subscribe and we'll get it done. Other than that, that's it. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.